Hello YouTube! I have another knife to review today. And this knife that we have in front of us here, this is from Best Tech. And this is the Best Tech Arctic. And the Arctic has a blade length of 3.54 inches. Open, it is 8.38 inches, so it's a little bigger knife. Closed, it is 4.84 inches. The steel on this, it is a D2 steel, and it's a drop point. The weight on this, it is a little weightier. It is a 5.1 ounce knife, so you can see it. Uh, it's a little bulkier knife. It has a little, little bit of weight to it. The uh, handle, it is G10 with the stainless steel liners, and you can see they've cut that out to reduce some of the weight, which I'm very thankful for, and... Uh, the liners do have some skeletonizing in them besides these uh, three holes, but uh, still, it's a weighty knife, 5.1 ounces. So you guys that like weighty knives might want to take a look at this guy. The pocket clip on this, it is a stainless steel. It's right-handed, tip-up, deep carry. So sorry lefties, it... Uh, it does not reverse. You have to carry it in the right-handed carry. It does have a flipper tab opening, and you can see it's it's a fairly big flipper tab on there. And works very well. It is a liner lock. And it does have jimping on the back there, and also on the flipper tab. It has a lanyard hole at the back for those that like lanyards and it does operate on ceramic bearings. So it works pretty, pretty smooth. And it does have the finger choil so that you can grip up on that and, uh, and change out your grip depending on what you're doing and need a little more control. Uh, you can use the finger trial. It is also centered. If you can see, oh, it's a little off center. Sorry, not quite centered, but pretty close. So slightly off center, a little to the left, um, but it doesn't seem to affect the operation of it at all. And there is no blade play, up or down, left or right. It sits in there nice and solid. So that's a good thing. Let's take a look and do a size comparison here. We have the Ontario Rat 2. So you can see a little bit smaller there. And we've got the Benchmade Bug Out. It's also smaller. Smaller. Learn to use the English language. And we'll grab a couple of the bigger knives. We've got the Civivi Cogent. And you can see it's got a little bit of length on that. And also the Spyderco Tenacious. And it it's still a good finger width. Uh, longer than, than these two knives. So it's a big, big bulky knife. If you're a person that likes big bulky knives, this might be one for you to look at. And let's see what we can do in terms of sharpness here. Yeah. Seems to uh, go through paper without a lot of effort. Well, without any effort, really. How about good old zip tie? And this has a bit of a belly, so I don't know if it's going to try riding up on the blade. Or a little bit more control there. Okay, it goes through, but it took a slight bit of effort to go through that. How about the fake paracord? 
not a lot of effort. They went through that pretty easy. And the nylon cording, it went through that pretty easy. So it seems like the blade is, is relatively sharp. Excuse me, I haven't, um, haven't used this as much to open packages and stuff. I did open a couple envelopes and one package with it. Um, and it worked fine. It went through stuff, no problem. Uh, might want to put just a slight bit of hone on the edge to make it work a little bit better, but, or make it a little bit sharper, but it, it works pretty good. And so out of the box, this thing opened nicely. I was happy about that. And I put a little bit of pivot lubrication on and and it works rather well. It's not quite drop close, but pretty darn close. And I have come close to cutting my thumb with it. So you do have to be careful with, with them. I had mentioned in the unboxing that it's a similar blade profile to the Civivi Backlash. As you can see, they are uh, somewhat similar. But I have to say no offense to Best Tech because it's a nice knife. Um, but I do like my Backlash better. It's a thinner knife and, uh, and just I like the jimping and that on it a little bit better. But anyway, that's beside the point because we're talking about this knife. So, so I do like the aesthetics of this knife. Uh, it has a good blade aesthetic to it, profile. I like the swedge up on the top. I, I like the two-tone blade. You got the black and the, and the silver together. The ergonomics on it are good. Um, it's a comfortable knife to hold. I think if my hands were bigger, I'd find this a more comfortable knife to hold because it, it is a bulky knife. And, uh, you know, if you compare it to like the Ontario Rat and that, it it's a bit bulkier. The Spyderco, you know, it has, has a little bit of size. So I think in terms of ergonomics, it's good ergonomics. Um, but I think if your hand was bigger, you'd find the ergonomics more to your liking. And one of the things I wish they would have done is carry the jimping on a little bit more. They stop the jimping down here, but when, when you're holding the knife like this, you can see my thumbs right up at the top. And so it'd be nice. I, I don't have, not really taking advantage of the jimping. The only time you're taking advantage of the jimping is, is back in this grip here. So. If you're up here, um, you're using more of a thumb ramp to to keep your thumb in place than the jimping. So I'd like to have seen the jimping a little bit uh, further along the blade. But but the ergonomics are good on it. The grip, uh, the holes actually add a bit to the grip because you can get a little better purchase with the holes there. Uh, the blade seems to be relatively sharp. And the pivot is smooth on it. It's a nice smooth pivot. Definitely no complaints about that. Works well and uh, opens every time. So that's that's nice. My only real complaint, uh, as I said, it is, it is a heavy knife. I don't really care for that heavy of a knife myself. Uh, other people do and that's great. It uh, definitely, you notice it in the pocket. It's heavy, it's beefy, it's bulky in the pocket. and But not horrible because it is, you know, fairly thin this way. So when it is in the pocket, um, not like horribly noticeable, uh, more the bulk of it. And you also do notice the flipper tab as well because it is fairly pronounced flipper tab if you compare it to like the cogent there, which is, is barely noticeable. Um, 
it, it is definitely more noticeable in the pocket. And then, of course, my usual complaint, they have raised pocket clip and raised screws. So, yeah, a bit of wear and tear on the pocket, but not the end of the world. But I do like this knife. It, it's definitely a, a nice knife. Um, would make a great everyday carry knife uh, for somebody. Again, if you like the bulkier knife, knife style, this is probably a knife you would like to check out because it, uh, you definitely know you got something in your hand when you, when you grab a hold of this thing. And again, it's not a bad thing to have a bulky knife. I just, I prefer slimmer knives. So most of my knives are, are a little bit slimmer, but, uh, it works well. It the use that I've done with it. It did the job that I needed it to do. No questions asked. So, yes, I would recommend this as an everyday carry knife for somebody. And again, it's in the Canadian price wise. I think it was fifty six dollars. So, not gonna break the bank. Uh, it is affordable uh, budget price knife so if you're looking for a, a larger knife that fits the budget you might want to check out the best tech arctic all right thank you for joining me on this review hit the like hit subscribe uh, leave me a comment i will get back to you i'll be doing another review or unboxing or something in in a few days so watch for that but uh, until then, I'll say goodbye and have yourself a great couple days.